Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, still having the same issues um, because I'm still recording without shutting down my computer. Um, so no video today other than what you're seeing is me in the circle, so I apologize for that. I have a bread and butter bolo video for you guys. 26 bread and butter bolos coming your way. Items to be on the lookout for. Items you can buy low and sell for decent margins. Most of these items sold for $35 or less, but they are items that you can usually find easier and that sell at a decent rate. Um, not all of them are going to be quick finds, but nonetheless, definitely items to be on the lookout for. So let's get started. All right. The first item is not an easy to find item, but it is definitely a bolo if you can find it. Nylon underwear, men's, women's, I don't care if they are nylon and they are vintage. Oh my goodness. Um, I have a video on bolo items. Um, I think it's called bolo items people shy away from. It's a category video. Go check it out. Unbelievable. But anyway, I picked up, I think five or six pair of these vintage jockey men's underwear from 1986. And these are definitely a bolo. I saw them. I knew they were a bolo. I wasn't sure how big of a bolo they were going to be, but I sold these for auction um, and only got one bid. I was surprised, but they sold for $34.99. I think I either have one pair left or they have all sold. I can't remember, but definitely be on the lookout for these. Um, I picked these up at a thrift store and I probably had about 50 cents each in them. So definitely be on the lookout. The next item I sold is this Boyd's Moose Troop. Um, it's like a Boyd's Bear figurine. <sighs> Guys, these are a hard sale. Um, a hard sell, hard sale, hard to sell. I don't know. You know what I'm saying. They don't sell quick typically. For some reason, this one did. But um, I sold it for $14.50 and the buyer paid shipping. Um, I've been buying mystery boxes and I got a bunch of these in mystery boxes. They are worth listing, but they, um, you have to wait on the right buyer. But, uh, this sold for $14 and 50 cents and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this Anna Lee doll from 1971. She is a tree topper and I can't remember if this was a garage sale or a thrift store find, but I sold her for $19 and the buyer paid shipping. And a lot of times they come on little stands. This one was not on a stand. It was a tree topper, which is pretty cool. And I always pick up Anna Lee. Uh, th they sell well for me. They're usually bread and butter, but they sell at a decent rate. So, and they're really like obvious. This is what their faces look like. And then um, let me see if I can find the tag. I usually post right here. This is what the tag looks like. The next item I sold is this Play School Mr. Potato Head Refrigerator Magnets. I picked up two of these. I had two different sets. They sold super quick. I sold the other one for 22 and I sold this one for a best offer of 20. And I believe they were all in a bag together for $2. So I had a dollar per listing. The next item I sold is this Art Academy Lessons Nintendo 3DS. It was brand new and sealed. I sold this for $19, the buyer paid shipping. This also sold fast and it came from a garage sale and I bought all the toys at the garage sale. So I got this like in a bundle buy with really good deal, probably a buck. This Wolfman mask, I picked up at a garage sale. I think it was a buck and I sold it for $12 and the buyer paid shipping. This vintage wall electric hair clipper set. Um, I paid $5 for this at a garage sale and it's got the really neat advertising. Um, I sold it for $28 and the buyer paid the shipping. So I did take a best offer on that one. The next item I sold are these, a series of an unfortunate events books. And I would buy these again. They sold quickly. Um, here's what the front cover looks like. I believe these came from a garage sale and I bought a whole bunch of books. So probably have a buck or two in all of them. And I sold this for $15 and the buyer paid shipping. 
The next item are these Cat's Meow Lighthouse from the Christmas series, 2001. Um, I sold these for $23 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this, I think it's Quarry Critters Puppy Dog, and it's Pee Wee. And this is what you're looking for on the bottom. And I have been finding these at garage sales like often. I don't know what's going on, but I keep finding them. So I just keep buying them. And they sell at a pretty decent rate for a pretty decent profit. I think this guy was 50 cents and I sold him for $17.60 in the buyer paid shipping. This I picked up at a thrift store. I want to say it was $2. And it's the Sophia the First Princess Drapes. And I sold these for $17.60 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this vintage clear art grass Christmas tree. And this I pulled out of a mystery box and I wasn't going to list it. And then I was like, you know, it's heavy. It's kind of nice. I need to make some money back on these boxes because I donated so much stuff. Um, so I sold this for $14 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this Nietzsche, maybe it's pronounced. I don't know. It's a vintage automatic needle threader. And it came in a sewing lot that I got. It looked kind of cool. So I listed it separately and it sold for $15 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item, I love these little chained animals. Whenever I see them, I pick them up. So these are vintage saddled horses. They are chained together. I can't remember where I got it. It may have been a thrift store or a garage sale. I sold this for $17.20 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I picked up at a garage sale for a buck, it's Impow or I don't know if that's M-P-O-W, but it's a headset. It was a buck. It sold pretty quick actually. And I sold it for $21.50 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item are these Lane Bryant jeans. And I sold these for $27.52 and the buyer paid shipping. This is a part of all of those clothes that I need to list. Um, I made myself do it one day and these sold super quick. And I do have more of these listed if anybody is interested. I think I have size 26 in this style, but I have tons of Lane Bryant, tons of Express in my store. By all means, grab the link down below. Come on in, come shopping, make me an offer. And make sure you put Bolo Buddies if you make me an offer on something because I definitely take that into consideration that you guys came from the channel. All right, the next item is this vintage rainbow stationary paper. And this sold for $18.92 in the buyer paid shipping. And I believe that was a garage sale find. The next item are these vintage flocked reindeer. And these were also a garage sale find. I think I paid a buck for them. Actually, you know what? Maybe that was a thrift store. I don't know. I'm starting to get mixed up. I used to be able to remember really good, but um, I'm so behind on doing my videos that I, I forget on this one. So I apologize, but it was probably like a buck. Um, and I sold these for $17 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this Swan Sign Savorsky Ring Ladybug. And I picked this up in the bulk buy. I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay. It was mixed in with all that jewelry, the 344 pounds of jewelry. And I sold this for $25 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this vintage serving spoon and fork. It's got a sterling collar and a mother of pearl handle. And I sold these for $28 and the buyer paid shipping. And... I can't remember where I got it, but I probably paid a couple bucks for it. The next item I sold are these Swedish angel chimes. They're brass. I sell these all the time. Like these are one items. Like if I see it and it's cheap, I buy it because they sell like hotcakes for me. Um, I sold it for $20 and the buyer paid shipping. And I usually pay a buck or two for these. I have picked them up at garage sales, estate sales. The next item is this Frosty the Snowman. This came from a garage sale. I bought all the toys at the sale. This was brand new, never used. I sold this for $17 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item are these Bakugan Battle Crawlers. Definitely be on the lookout for these. They sell really good. Um, I believe this was either, mm, gosh, I can't remember. I've bought so many of these. 
Um, I think this was a thrift store and I think I paid $5 for it because I remember it had the blue case. Um, I sold these for $29.99 and the buyer paid shipping. This little vintage soft foam squishy pumpkin, I paid 50 cents for at a garage sale. And you can see right there is where the price sticker was. Um, I don't know if it's foam or what it's made out of, but how funny is that? I was hoping it was going to go for like crazy money, but it still went for $19.99, which is pretty good for a 50 cent garage sale pickup. It's vintage Halloween and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this Longenberger travel mug. It's the breast cancer pink mug with lid and it was new in the box. I picked this up at a garage sale for five bucks and I sold it for $29 and 75 cents and the buyer paid shipping. And the final item is this vintage MMA lion wine, lion wine opener. I paid a buck for this. I don't know. It, I, I think it might be pewter, but I'm not a hundred percent sure, but it just caught my eye and it sold quick. It sold on auction for $19.99 and the buyer paid shipping. And if I remember correctly, this one went internationally. All right, you guys, those are my bread and butter bolos. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Leave me a comment down below. That helps me in the algorithm. And if you have any questions, you can put those down below, or you can just tell me what your favorite bolo was out of this video. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you at the next video.